Good morning. I'm reading again from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse number 5 in the Message Bible. Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had only plans for you. God has a special holy plan for you and for your success. That plan is where your success is. For you to succeed, you have to understand your shape. So I'll begin by saying God shaped you to succeed. The design purpose of God, which is your shape, is where your best success will ever come from. God shaped you in advance for special plans. Before you were born, while you were seeing your mother's womb, God already shaped you. There's something very particular, very special about you because your purpose in life is in your shape. And that's why since yesterday, we started talking about shape. God's plan and purpose started before your birth. When the Bible says God shaped you in your mother's womb, what he's saying is God already put inside of you what will make you succeed in whatever you do on earth, especially when you find your shape. But here is the best part. The way God shaped you reveals how he wants to use you. All of us are instruments in God's hand for a specific special plan on planet Earth. So our assignment is in our shape. And until we discover what we are shaped for, we can never fulfill our purpose. How do you discover the unique way God made you. That's what we're going to be stepping into today. So how do you discover the unique way God made you? Since he has put a shape in you, how do you know your shape? That is going to be what we'll begin to uh, uncover by the spirit of grace as from today. The word shape in acrostic way, S-H-A-P-E, we give you a unique understanding of what kind of shape you've got it. So the first word there, S, stands for your spiritual gifts. That's why at the beginning of uh, on our purpose series, I said the best way to discover your purpose is in Christ. You can never know better of any product than from the producer. God is the one who shaped you, and so is the best person to give you the understanding of your shape. So shape talks about spiritual gift. The next word, H, stands for your heart. And then the next one talks about your ability. And the next one talks about your personality. And the last one talks about your experiences. So S for spiritual gift, H for heart, A for ability, P for personality, and E for experiences. Today, we'll dive into what is spiritual ability. The spiritual gift that God has given to everyone, don't forget we say spiritual, because you have to be born again for you to get your full shape. As a non-believer, you can never discover your full shape. The first one will be missing. So what you're going to be having is hip and not a shape. Your spiritual ability come alive when you become born again and you are now a believer. So God empowered ability for serving him that is given to believers. You have to come to the knowledge of saving grace in order to activate your spiritual ability. The spiritual ability in every believer is in three blocks. Number one, it's in the revelational gift. Number two, or trans gift. And number three, the power gift. What is revelation or gift? There are three of them that are inbuilt in you when you became born again. Number one, word of wisdom. Number two, word of knowledge. And number three, the designing of the spirit. If it is utterance gift, it's the gift of, knowledge, of prophecy, the diverse kinds of tongues, and the interpretation of tongues. If it's power gift, talks about the gift of healing, the working of miracle, or the gift of faith. So either of these or combination of some of them are inside every believer. It could be used in the marketplace. It could be used in in church, it could be used in, in the health sector, it could be used in athletic sector, in political sector, you can use your spiritual gift that God has given unto you. So, the first way to find your shape is to look inside. You are a spiritual being. You were first in the spirit before you became physical. The Bible said that it shaped you before you were born in your mother's womb. It said before you even, your mother and your father met together, he has known you. That means, therefore, you are first spiritual before you become physical. And when you, are, when you are living this earth, your body will be here, your spirit is gone. So you are a spiritual being. And the first shape is in your spiritual gift. Find your spiritual gift, and then you will find your purpose. We'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you.